It's your boy Mo Hustle, and you are now in the hot seat. And I got some special guests in the building. We got Jay So. Man, Jay So, man. Yes, What's sir. Up, man? It's we John got... John the Great in the building. John John the Great, man. Yeah. It's going down. It's good to have y'all finally in here. I know we've been uh, talking about it for a minute. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Been know. a minute, been a minute. I'm going to put some on somewhere. Yeah, man, you gotta put that orange somewhere, man. You holding on to the orange <laughs> like you finna eat it on the podcast. You know what I mean? Hey, I can't eat in the studio room. I yeah, would. I, I could, man. I'm hungry. You, 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 you a vegan or something? Nah, I ain't no vegan, man. Okay. I just, you know what I'm saying? I had to get something right before. I mean, ain't nothing wrong with being vegan. Nah, I was nah, vegan I for five months, though, you know what I'm saying? Okay. You know what I'm saying? I lost a little weight, you know what I'm saying? I was vegan for a little bit, you know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing wrong with being vegan. He wasn't a okay. real vegan. He would probably still. Nah, I was an alkaline. Oh, no, but you, I, I, didn't you say before that you hate vegetables? Yeah, though? I ain't never, I'm not eating no vegetable. I ain't, a, I ain't ate a vegetable since I was like a little kid. That boy trip. <laughs> so, no vegetables at all? Nah, I'm allergic to them. They make my what? taste buds cry. If so you you don't like not one vegetable that you could think of? I used to like corn, but that's not even a real vegetable. Yeah. And it's still and corn's still nasty. But I'm mm. even trying to eat the corn in the crawfish bowl or nothing, man. Yeah. It's nasty. Down bad. I don't know how y'all eat that. I eat a fruit <laughs> though. That's the only way I'm gonna be a vegan, just straight fruits my whole life. That's hilarious. Trip. Nah, nah. When you get older, you're gonna want the veggies, man. That's all I'm, I'm telling. Telling them, bro. Nah. I mean, I'm saying, like, well, you're gonna get older, but like. If I'm older, I probably my taste buds probably gonna change by then. But yeah, like yeah. for right now, like I'm still like I ain't trying to eat none of that. It's bitter, like it's just bitter and not sweet. I got you, man. All right, well let's get this podcast started, man. And I guess we would start off with what made y'all want to rap, and at what age did y'all start? You wanna go first, man? I mean, man, really, and y'all you know saying so. I really just more recently started rapping than he did. So, you know, what I'm saying so. I look after him towards, like, doing the stuff, you know what I'm saying? Because he didn't already been doing it for, like, you know what I'm saying, like, maybe, like, five years versus, like, my one, almost like my two. So, it's, you know what I'm saying, it's motivating me being around him because he do what he do. So, I get to see what he do, how he operate. He get to see what I do and how I operate. And we kind of, you know what I'm saying, just click off of that. But And, and you guys met where? Up at school, at high school. Freshman year. Freshman okay. year. And to this day, we still don't even know how we met each other. Like, we just some, know we some, was friends we just at some point. We landed at the lunch table yeah. sometime. At you know and we just Somehow. sat together. I don't know how I met him, but we just know we was friends at some point in the time. Yeah. Oh, shit. But nah, uh, right, you. I wanted to rap, like, when I was a little kid, when I was, like, 13, hmm. maybe. But, like, even when I was, like, younger than that, like, I was, like, probably in middle school, probably, like, like sixth grade, and I always, like, just, like, music. So I always, I it wasn't just technically rap. I kind of wanted to be like a Justin Bieber when I was a little kid. But as I got <laughs> yeah. older, I started listening to more rap music, and that's what I wanted to do yeah. at that time. And then um, <clears throat> it made me, like, more recently made me want to push it more because I did have, like, a partner. You know, I got John as a partner to do all this stuff. Mm -hmm. with right. me, you know, it's pretty. <clears throat> all right, did y'all rap with anyone else before y'all met each other or anything like that, or just... Well, shout out my boy K-Real, you know what I'm saying? He <laughs> wanted to put me on, you know what I'm saying? I I should give my yeah. boy a shout out. Yeah, I first started rapping at my uh, partner Makai's house. He used to uh, take he me out to school and go to his first. house. He stayed like a couple neighbor, like a neighborhood across the street from me. So all I had to do was walk down there. Yeah. Got my people I was going to his house, and that's who I started recording with. Okay. Yeah, but that boy K Real for sure. He the he the real he the truth. Yeah. <laughs> shout out K Real. Okay. Yeah. All right. So real. so what area are y'all from? Me, I'm from Houston, like the north side of Houston, like uh, Homestead and Tilbury Road. That's why I, you know grew up in Switch Village apartments and stuff like that. Okay. I was born in Houston, you know what I'm saying? But I say I'm more Louisiana raised, but I was raised in Beaumont too. Mm. So I'm just a South Side baby. The boot. We got the boot <laughs> in the building. H in the boot. <laughs> uh, that's that Hulu uh, connection. <laughs> you got you know to what I'm saying? Oh, they right yeah. next to each other. That's great. That's great. You know what I mean? Because, uh, you know, a lot of people don't know, but Houston and Louisiana, we used to be real, real tight. Yeah, like back in the it. day, you know, I, I remember. Uh, you know, going with the Switch House members and going with uh, Agony Life, shout out Agony Life, you know, Lester Roy, Archer Lee, all them boys. We used to go to the Louisiana. That would be the first place that we would go out of the whole United States and get the love because it was just, you know, a few hours away. And uh, I, I think a lot of that changed when the hurricane came because, you know, Louisiana came to Houston and there was a lot of problems. I yeah, you know, know, um, I got a lot of family that actually moved out here because of the, you know what I'm saying, the storm and all that type yeah. of stuff. I got a uh, a lot of people who who still, you know what I'm saying, they stay even after the flood and all that. So, yeah, it's just about they just made it their home. And stuff, but that's you know that that's what's so good about both of y'all coming together because you bring in two different 
you know, uh, yeah, yeah. places back together, Houston and the boot connected. So yeah, that's definitely that's dope. I definitely got a lot of Louisiana people like I mess with. Like I ain't, I don't think like yeah. our generation we don't really be into it with them like that. So, that's like, good. That's good. We well, well, you know, I think most of that stuff died down. Like you said, a lot of people made, you know, from the boot made their home in Houston. Yeah, mm-hmm. and uh, a lot definitely. of people got past some of the stuff that, that happened. The only thing I say negative Louisiana about them they're just Saints right. fans. You know, the Saints ain't a good team. Oh, here we go, man. <laughs> Yeah, got to rep that. So what's so what's your favorite football nation? team? Nah, I, uh, my favorite football team used to be the Texans, but I ain't no favorite team no more. Like you know, what I'm saying? Yeah. I like one player is Tom Brady. Any team you go to, I'm a, I'm gonna hold it down for my Saints. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Got to rep the who that. He's gotta still rocking, rocking with Drew Brees. Drew Brees is retired. He's still rocking. Hey, with number him. nine, number nine, got the jersey. Don't kill. Okay, okay. <laughs> Most definitely. Oh right. nine with the number nine. You know what I'm saying? Uh, All right, so so uh, John John coming from Louisiana. Cause I know they got that whole different culture, the whole different way of eating. Yeah. You know what I mean? What is your favorite dish from Louisiana? Mm. See, I would say crab legs, but crab legs ain't a dish. I'd say more like gumbo or maybe like etouffee. Yeah, like I was about to say something with the roux in it or something, man. Come yeah, on now. Crawfish or some gumbo. Okay. okay. You know what I'm saying? All right. And uh, you coming from Texas, man. Oh, yeah, but everything but vegetables. So you like big steak, right? Nah, I don't eat Barbecue, it. what is it? Well, I wouldn't even say steak. It's just, like, simple with me. I like Whataburger, the best thing in Texas. Whataburger, yeah, hold up. Whataburger, sweet, yeah, spicy bacon burger. burger. You get that anytime. You ain't never going to be disappointed. Man, we used to go to Whataburger every day after school, man. I used to work every there. Day. We used to walk up, he used to walk to pull up Whataburger. He used to pull up on me and sit right there the whole day while I was at work. No cap. No shit. No sit cap. Sit Wait for the free beat. No cap. Yeah, and I used to give him some fries. No He'd be waiting. I was like, right, well, I got you right here. Like, try to give me some yeah, fries. No I was like, I'm going to try. I'm going to try. I have all the partners chilling in the back. It would be like 15 deep. Yeah, I was just sitting there, just, and I go. 15 deep. I come out and I talk to him, and then I go right back to what I was doing. Some days we scratching pennies, some days we got hundreds. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. It just depends on what it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Maybe so, ordering off the dollar mean. So, since y'all started, when did y'all start recording together? Uh, Like mm-hmm. after the. um, after Right after the pandemic. Yeah, I seen uh, he was rapping. Like, that's my boy. I was like, I was, I was rap too. I was like, you got to come to the studio, come get on the track, you know? Because uh-huh. it was. I was working, and uh, that's when I met K-Real, and he had put me on to, with the studios and stuff. He yeah. showed me how to really, you know what I'm saying, really lay down a song and really do any of that type of stuff. Right. Really introduced me to any of the rap music career, any of that type of stuff. So, And then my, I already knew about him making music and stuff, and he was already doing his own thing. So he kind of heard my stuff. I heard his stuff, and we was already cool. So it was, it was just, you know what I'm saying, it was just waiting to happen. Yeah. Yeah. When I first started rapping, I told John, like, John, he knew when I first started rapping. It was just at the lunch table, and I told him, I was like, John, I'm going to be a rapper. Yeah, for no problem. And I told, him, I told him I'm going to fix something from when we get older. I ain't going to speak on it on the podcast, but I told him I'm going to fix something for him. Yeah. <laughs> I told him I'm going to fix something for him. I can't speak on the podcast. You know, I'm going to respect him, but... uh, You ain't going to speak on that right now. Yeah. <laughs> but you know I got to make y'all a little bit uncomfortable since you're talking about spitting and all, man. So, you know, I was going to wait to the end, but, you know... <laughs> Gonna let them have a little freestyle without no beat, man. What y'all got for the fans out there? All right, so it's buddy. tuned in. Getting that money, I'm getting that check. Down that pussy, I get it too wet. No, I'm that nigga, but try not to flex. Hitting my Benjamin P90 eggs. I am a rookie, but I hang with Vicks. She want to fuck, but I just want, want the neck. neck. You know I'm winning like I cut the neck. Can't, Can't play, play with you niggas like that is a bet. To the sun down, all my yeah. niggas up and around. We gon' come through smelling like a pound. Sipping on lean while we swing around. Sipping that lean, sipping that drink. Getting that money, I'm getting that bank. I'm getting cheddar the cheese on my plate. I'm getting hungry, hell no, nah, I can't wait. I'm getting bitches up in every state. I'm really balling like this is 2K. <laughs> hold, on, hold on, man, right, hold on. Like hold on, man. Hold on, I'm feeling golden like, golden like what Curry played, you know what I'm saying? So don't bend that shit up, what's the price? Stay on their mind like some motherfucking lice. Can't cuff a hoe cause these bitches be trife. Can't up the scope cause you not about that life. Won't warn you no more, boy, you walking on nice. I'm on your thud like a thief in the night. If I walk out the club, I ain't leaving in right. Are you tripping on her? That's not even your wife. I can walk on the moon like my first name was Mike. They like to shoot, but I much rather fight. fight. Back in the day, put them pegs on my bike. Left them like, like some motherfucking Sprite. <laughs> oh, God, I'm on the stage and I wreck the mic. Bro, hit the gas, he don't stop in no light. She don't like to smoke, but she hop on this fight. If you're not part of the gang, you are not in our sight. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Boys got it. No cap. That's some hot shit right there. That's I can't wait to hear that. Man, yeah, that's, man, that's, that's that getting that money, man. We gone. Yeah. That's up there. All right. So, at, at this point, are you guys like single artists or you got some kind of group you guys are forming or? or... Well, 
I say we both independent artists, but we do collab A very lot. often. Mm-hmm. So we would, it would be safe to say we got collab projects coming out, mm. but it's safe to say. So just wait on it. Yeah, mm-hmm. like, yeah, like we just leave it like that. Like, when you got two people who, like, really, like, you know what I'm saying, like, got a passion for music, mm. and they sit and make music, you know what I'm saying? They gonna make music together, and we, like, real close, so, of course, everything we do is gonna be, like, a lot together. Uh, we gonna make a lot of songs. Y'all gonna hear a lot of songs together with us, because, like, you know what I'm saying? We both make the music. He come to my studio all the time, like, he, you know what I'm saying? He live with me, type stuff. Yeah, real, real life. All right, do, do any of you guys have any music online right now, and where can they find you? Yeah, yeah you can get us on all platforms. Um, Simple. Yeah, I got some older stuff I ain't put on uh, SoundCloud before. I mean, on Apple Music before. It's on SoundCloud, but you can find, like, uh, my most recent stuff. I got three songs on Apple Music. I got uh, one featuring him sometimes. I mean, no, his song featuring me sometimes. Yeah, then I got you can find songs. that on Apple Music underneath John John the Great, J-O-N-J-O-N-D-A-G-R-E-A-T. Yeah, and then I got two uh, other songs. I got j Soul talking, Mike j Soul on Apple Music under uh, Hey J. You can hear it, H-A-T-E-J-A-Y-Y. Two eyes, don't forget the two eyes. And my Instagram is John John the Great, J O N J O N underscore D A underscore Great, G R E A T. My Instagram the same thing as my rap name, Hey J. Hey J. Okay, that's what's up, man. Just glad to have y'all in here, man. So, uh, let's see, what can we get into now, man? Um, man. What's the next project coming out? Well. We got a uh, we got a little little oh, yeah. EP I say coming soon. Yeah, I wouldn't say we have a name a title for it, dude, but you know. Yeah, it's still up in the air right now. It's yeah. it's in the works though. You know it's a lot of different music we can put together. Yeah. And to make one, you know. But for right now, y'all go check out the SoundCloud. Check out most the Apple Music. Keep doing love to that. Keep doing love to that. Show you know what I'm saying. Dope, <clears throat> dope. Okay. All right. And uh, talk about an album is always in the air. So. It's always coming, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I've so seen you guys way. online, man. You guys were uh, promoting that you guys some, got some new clothing and stuff like this. We just got our merch out, you know what I'm oh, saying? Yeah, you we can just hit us gotta... up in the DM about it, man. If you want to get you some merch, man, $25 a shirt, 55 for the hoodies, man. Come Cypress in. Park Records, man, you know what I'm saying? So I don't know if you can get a hoodie, get it right now. Pre, we taking pre-orders right now. Mm. Already. <laughs> Most definitely. Okay. Get my cash out. Any, any videos? Online or anything like that yet? Oh yeah, I had a uh, <laughs> I had a video. I got a video like with somebody I don't make music with no more. But you know, he had what he what he doing right now. But um, yeah, it's a good video. You know what I'm saying? It's a good song. Yeah, good let them know with... what it is so they can check it out. Yes, yeah, uh, it's called Gang. You can check it out on my uh YouTube channels. Hey J H A T E J A Y Y. No space. You can just it's Hey J together. You can go check it out. It's on there. You can look in the videos. You will see it first thing pop up right there. You can show love on there, and it's still uh, other music that's on the SoundCloud that's on uh, YouTube the same way, too. So you can... Yeah, my SoundCloud is also John John the Great. Everything John John the Great, all platforms, you know what I'm saying? Just make sure. What about TikTok, man? You on that TikTok platform yeah. yet? Hey, I'm, I'm, on uh, I'm on that TikTok a little bit, but I ain't, I ain't like him, though, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I, ain't, I, ain't, I, got, a, I got a TikTok, man, but yeah. I, I want to say I was on TikTok before, like, TikTok really was, like, popping because I knew I seen the opportunity to take, right, you know, right. take advantage of the social media. I was like, oh, yeah, that's... If it blow up, if I did that, you know, take a uh, be a pretty boy on TikTok, get all the girls to follow me. Who my voice? Oh, <laughs> get all the girls to follow me off the TikTok. Uh, yeah. Being a pretty boy, then I start posting my music on there. That's how I can get people to attract to my music. Okay. I just post snippets. <laughs> snippets. <laughs> snippets. Yeah, okay. I post snippets and other videos. Try to keep people in touch. All right. What about the road, man? Have y'all hit the road? Cause because I know that a lot of y- the young generation they just think everything's digital and they can just sit at home. And chill, do you got plans yeah. on going on the road? Have you been on the road? No, I, we never, well, I've never been on the road before. I've, uh, I ain't never been on the road, neither. Yeah, I ain't never been outside of the state of Texas, but we do plan on going on the road, you know, looking forward yeah. to new opportunities, always expanding your fan base and stuff like that. Yeah. Like, if you look in your, um, like, most artists, if you look in your, uh, what's it called, your plays and your uh, stuff like that, when you go check it out, you can look where people stream your music and stuff like that. It's crazy. I got people, like, like over a thousand people stream my music in New York and Florida. I've never even been to these. You know what? Before. I'm really, I'm really uh excited for the uh, the foreign fan bases that are gonna be coming our way. Mm. Yeah, different cities. I want to yeah. be over. You know. All right, and global. I know, I know you mentioned the ladies, man. Are you guys single, young man, or y'all already taken, <laughs> or, or, or it's pending, or is it pending? What, what, what you got going? Uh, <laughs> I'm a king, man, and they're yeah, king. Needs I'm a queen, king. Man, gonna lie. Yeah, I'm gonna say that too. I'm a king, and I got my queen right now, so. 
Mm, don't want to take a spot. That's y'all gonna have to do that out. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Nah, but this your good. Nah, mom, we can't even. <coughs> can't even speak. Y'all can't. Oh, I, like, I can't even speak on that. Yeah. Okay. And then so so you already taken and you you. Yeah, what? I'm taking. I've been taking for a while. Ooh, yeah, most taking. Time. Okay. I've been taking longer than him. But hey, y'all ladies, if y'all watching, y'all could dream. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, I you, got you can always buy my merch. I got partners. My you can come around. Like you can always put my come picture around. on your wall, whatever you want to do. I got I'm partners saying. you can come mess with. Like that's yeah, close enough. You know what I'm saying? That's close, cool. that's close cool. enough. They say they're gonna hug you up with the partners. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out your little homies that I see you guys always hanging out. Man, with. yeah, I be with uh Lil Sam, man. That's and Big Sam. You know, Big Sam is Hitman Sam. On man, Instagram. shout out my boy Connor. Shout out my boy Mark. Shout out my boy Jerry. Jordan. Shout out my boy Jordan. Shout out to Jordy. Jordan. Shout out mm. Jordy. You know what I'm saying? Shout out. Elias, shout out everybody, shout out all my boys. Shout yeah. out the family, shout out Jerry. Make sure Jerry the family, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shout out mama. Yeah. Shout out my mama. Yeah. Shout out your mama. Shout out Lucy. You know hey, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> shout out Side Park. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm. Shout out to Cosmo. Shout out you know Pee Wee for having us on here. Shout out mm. to Cypress. Shout out to Houston. You know what I'm mm. saying? You know, shout out to the world. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. So, so back to the the video you got the last person uh, <laughs> that you got the video with. What 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 happened? Because I know, you know, people, you know, this happens to me. You know, I've been in the game for about twenty years, and, and you know, sometimes we work with people, and you know, we might put put our all into it, and then yeah. stuff just breaks up, like bands, groups. You know, it, it, it's a common thing. So, what happened with with that young young man? <laughs> that young man. <laughs> yeah. Nah, um, you know. It's like, you know, you know, like you gotta um you gotta know understand like the code between things, you know what I'm saying? No. Like the it was principles. like yeah, the principle is the principle of certain stuff. I'm not gonna like it's like, you know, we had the snow break. If you were in Houston, like if you're familiar with having in Houston, it was like a little snowstorm and stuff like that. Right. And you know, he came over, try to, you know, live over there. Not well, not live over there, but stay over there, you know what I'm saying? Get the generation cosmo or not the generation, the generator cosmo had got a generator. He had came over there, chill with a little bit, man. Turned down, man was trying to talk to my female. And I'm not too much tripping oh. out there. I'm not, even, you know what I'm saying? I'm not like too much tripping out there. So I like, you know what I'm saying? I just ain't. Yeah, but that's a no-no though, especially if it's supposed Big to be your no. Yeah, it's like you showing, you showing uh disloyalty. No, right. Yeah. And I don't want that around me in, in any ways. Okay, so hold on. So so you you like pretty much damn near gave him a place to stay, damn near a little bit. You probably didn't give him a place to stay, but yeah, you just stayed. Just ended up for the temporary, there. like it was cold. Like right. it was cold. And they ain't had no generator. They ain't had no lights that they stayed. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and you gave him a little okay. And then out of nowhere, so how, how did he hit your girl or? How did you find out that he was trying to talk to you? Like, that's the same girl I went to today. She in love with me. Like, she, yeah. we went together at the she time. She gonna let you know. Like, we had just stopped talking. And then she let me know. If she, she real, she gonna let you know. She instantly texted me yeah. screenshots. She showed me all the screenshots. She was like, ooh, ooh. And I was like, ah, that's, you know what I'm saying? I let it go. But I end up, uh, you know, getting revenge. Uh, we we okay. definitely got revenge. <laughs> what kind of revenge you talking, man? Come we on. We talking about the girl of his dreams revenge, man. You know, you know what I'm uh -huh. saying? It was that. I left it at that. Yeah, because, man. No comp. You know, and that kind of sucks, man, because cause, y'all had a nice video, man. Are you talking about the one where you're on the damn basketball goal? And yeah, stuff? and I was sitting up on the basketball goal, yeah. Man, was... how the hell did you get on the top of that basketball goal, man? Because, you know, a person like me, I'm getting old, man. man I mean, that's I Bugs know, Bunny right there, you know what I'm saying? Space Jam right there. Man, I'm multi-talented, man. I can jump high, man. I play basketball. Uh, man, I don't play ain't basketball no way free. in the world you done jumped up there and just I'm 6'3", man. I can, you know, vertically yeah. at least grab on the net. But I went up there, grabbed the rim, pulled myself up. Man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Boy, cold with <laughs> that new So that boy, that boy got the hoop game yeah. on lock. Yeah. Not Jonathan, though. Nah, I ain't no hooper, man. What kind of sports you like? What kind shot of stuff you like doing? Man. Shot put. Really, yeah. In high school, I did shot put, discus. You know what I'm saying? I went to Junior Olympics uh, he ran for hammer too. throw, javelin. Um, you ran track, though, huh? Remember when you did the, you were doing the big man races? Man, don't even tell me about that. <laughs> so the big man races. <laughs> You man. ain't even supposed to bring that one up. Big, hold on, what is that, yeah. dog? Now nah, you got that's me. That's the okay. big man relay. What is a saying? big man relay? They got yeah. That's, that's when they got people. like the they. That's when they get like the big boys, the throwers, your field events people. You know what I'm saying? They get the ones that typically don't do the running events, and they go ahead and put them in a relay. Typically, <laughs> typically they they even have like a uh, for the baton. They'll have a uh, a hot dog. Yeah. That, oh my god. They have a glizzy. <laughs> <laughs> not the glizzy. Oh, nah, man. you was running with glizzies in your hands. Pat I ain't running with no glizzy, nah. I'm I ain't say me. <laughs> nah, you know what I'm saying? I ain't say me. I ain't run no relay. You know nah, saying? we was in school, and this bro, I mean, the dude told me, he was like, you know, I'm fast. I was like, what you mean? He was like, I be running the big man races. I'm like, yeah. what? Like, he was tripping, bro. Seeing if that before at the lunch table. 
Man, it was cap, bro. You know that was cap. Maybe it's a joke, man. It's a joke. <clears throat> yeah. But y'all, man. Multi talents. I ain't running no relay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so y'all, so you guys right now, you guys are working on working on a project. You don't know the name yet. But then uh so what are the plans on getting your music out there and getting it promoted? How you guys plan on doing that? Man, really just promoting it, really trying to get just like advertisement and stuff on just social media platforms, you know what I'm saying? Just getting it out, just getting the word out. Connecting yeah. with the audience, seeing what they like, seeing what they don't like, you know what I'm saying? And seeing what, as an artist, is what I could work on, you know what I'm saying? See whatever I feel is going to make me a better artist to do what I need to do with my career and to place us, if nothing else, in a better position. Right. Yeah, I think uh, taking advantage of uh, like certain opportunities, like if we can perform at a club, or, like, perform at, like, you know, a little small club, get our name out there, everybody mess with us. Then we, uh after the club, wait for everybody at the show. Like, hey, make sure y'all mess with us, make sure y'all mess with us. Then yeah. after that, um you can also, like, it's still other ways, too. Like, you do can like still do it on social groups. media. You can, like, peep. Like, if you really pay attention to, like, apps and pop up and stuff like that, yeah. you can really get on it early. You can be famous and get a lot of fan base on those apps if you, like, you know what I'm saying? Right, pay attention right. like that. Right. And you get on there. It's and take all about advantage, putting your money home. behind you too. All right, so are you guys gonna be the ones that just come record and then leave the show early, or are you gonna be the ones to wait to the end of the show no, and we then gonna close take that pictures? mug out? We uh, closing gotta, the show like, out every show out. Like you gotta get to know a person, like a fan, to really, uh -huh. you know what I'm saying? Like you gotta really fuck with that person, like something like you can right. wait to after that show, and they, if they fuck with you and they see you, they want to show love to you, and you can talk to them, then you get a relationship. Then next thing you know, that could mm -hmm. be a, like a. Uh, uh, what's it called? It could be somebody engineer for right. like something. It could, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The reason Every why I bring that up. Matters. The reason why I bring that up because there's a lot of people that get in Hollywood. Man, they come out, they bring their little crowd and they rock it, and then everybody leaves the show. Right. And then you got the ones that they're the first ones there and the last ones to leave. But that be the rappers who be beefing with everybody. Yeah, that's right. They gotta. So 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 they go. <laughs> so that's what it is. Okay, I see. I ain't know that. They be. They, they gotta be trying get to get up. They gotta make it happen and get out. Get about it though. Like you know what I'm saying? Before they get mopped up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or whatever they situation is. Yeah. A safety they heard. Let me get out that situation. <clears throat> all right. So as far as your family, mm. all right, because I know, you know, sometimes your family won't support you. You know, I've 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 had several situations where they they downgrade you because you want to do music, you don't have a proper job. They want you to do this, they want you to do what they want you to do. Uh mm -hmm. do do you guys have supporters in the family, or? Oh yeah, most definitely. Or, 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 yeah. how, how does that work? We, I would say we both got a lot of family support. If I, I feel like we, neither one of us would be where we, where we are today without our family support. So yeah, fact. I feel like, um, even the ones that that support, and that could be support more or less. You know what I'm saying? Whatever you want to say, but. Everybody got their own situation. Everybody move how they move. So you just got to take in whatever, however they move and know how to move however you need to move or based off of their moves. But you ain't got to always base your moves off of their moves because you always your independent person. Right. I got I definitely, your own. Yeah, definitely got a uh, family that support, like, on my side. Um, a lot of people in my family did music and stuff like that. So, yeah. you know, it's kind of, like, relatable. Like, everybody got a passion for music. So. Yeah. Right. So, so. All right. Well. We're about to close it out, you know. Um, yeah. Is there any shout-outs you want to give be before we end this? Man, shout-out my yeah. brother. Part five of shouting out the world. 82nd yeah. Airborne Troop, you know what I'm saying, yeah. being sent overseas. Yeah. Shout-out my mama. Um, shout-out my, my four brothers, including my older brother, you know what I'm saying. Mm. Um, Man, hold on, let me get a shout-out. Shout-out J-So. Yeah, well, shout-out John John. Shout-out shout out shout out Shout-out Serenity. Shout-out all the people that I miss with it in the nine. Craven, all them people. Shout-out my mama. Shout-out my brother. Shout-out all them people, you know. Shout-out AJ. Shout-out Christian. Shout-out Titus. Shout-out Tristan, you know what I'm saying? Shout-out all my cousins, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, man. All right. One more time before we close it out. Let them know where they can find you, just in case they didn't catch it at the beginning. Man, you can find me on all platforms at... J O N J O N underscore D A underscore great G R E A T. That is all platforms except for Apple Music. It's no underscores. It's just spaces. Yeah, it's just John John the Great film. But, John John the Great. But mine is uh Hey J H A T E J A Y Y. Don't forget the two Y's. A lot of people be uh I meet somebody in person. They see my uh I give them my information and they search up Hey J, but then they don't put it in the other Y and they mess them up. So make sure y'all put in that Y. 
All right, and if for, for, for y'all that don't know, I go by the name Mo Hustle. That's M O Hustle. You catch me on Facebook, on the fan page, uh, and I got a lot of followers on there. Yeah. Or you shout out Mo it. Hustle, man. Real talk. You know yeah. Shout out. Go check, check out the Instagram, and uh, you ain't got Instagram. You got Instagram. Yeah, the Instagram is at the real Mo Hustle. That's T H E, real Mo Hustle, all spelled correctly. Yeah. You know what I mean? And uh, I also got another page. That's my personal page on Facebook. It's uh, Manuel Rodriguez. You can check me out on there. And we got Hustlers Playground TV. And uh, y'all make sure y'all like and subscribe this page. Yes, sir. Uh, because we got a lot more interviews coming your definitely, way. Most definitely, most definitely. And uh, we got the youngsters right here. Y'all make sure y'all go may follow go these tapping. guys. Uh, check out their music on, on Apple Music, Spotify. And uh, make sure to drop some comments because it's very important. Yes, sir. Sometimes we don't see you guys uh, uh, viewing it or listening to it. And it's good to get a comment, a like. You know what I mean? Just... To let us know you're there. Yeah, let you know oh. opinions. Go listen to music. Drop a comment how you feel about it. Most definitely, most definitely. Go stream that sometimes. Yeah, yeah. That's the new, that's the single, right? Sometimes. Yeah, yeah. that's the single out right now. Yes, yeah, sir. That's Hey J featuring John John the Great, aka John John the Great featuring Hey J. That's it the, do. Yeah, do it, Jim. Yeah. I said do, do it, Jim. Something like that. There's peanut butter. You know what I'm saying? Uh, all right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, he said it's peanut butter thick. No, just <laughs> <laughs> all right. So yeah, we out this joint. Oh yeah, and shout out my little mama Tiana. Uh oh, uh oh. Uh, nah, you dropping names? I ain't never oh, doing that. I ain't they never doing that. He started dropping names. I ain't never doing that. Okay, okay. All okay. Right. I'm reckless, me. Yeah. So this is the hot seat. Yeah. It's your boy Mo Hustle. J So man, H A. John John the Great. And we out this joint.